Good. I got all the time in the world. We were in Exodus chapter number 12. Moses showed up. All the plagues happened. Remember the last one? Darkness. This wall will represent Egypt. On this side, black. On this side is the Israelites. Light. Exodus chapter number 12, verse 33. The last plague is finally given. And so God, being the original Godfather, said, I'm going to make them an offer they can't refuse. And he kills all the firstborn of the Egyptians that did not have the blood. Now, were there people spared that were not Israelites? Yes. We're going to go over that in a minute. They had, somebody went out there, one of the Jew brothers said, this is these people have been good to me, but they're Egyptian. So I'm going to put some blood on the outside so the death angel will pass over and nobody will die. Now, the king said, everybody that had blood, all them Jews, they got to go. So again, according to the Bible, God uses this word. He tells the Hebrew children, go borrow, go borrow, go silver, anything precious from the Egyptians. How long are we going to borrow? Oh, a couple thousand years. We'll bring it back. Alright? <coughs> Remember, God told them they were going to go out and sacrifice. Moses keeps going. We're going to go into the desert and sacrifice. No, you're not. You're leaving. Alright? I mean, y'all taking off. Why are you lying to Pharaoh? Because God told me to lie to you. Alright? And tell me this is what I'm supposed to say. So you know what I did? I said it. Is it lying? No. You're just doing what God told you. You'll get that in a minute. For all you independent fundamental Baptists that have to go line by line by line. Amen? Amen. Every time you put God in the box, guess what? God jumps out. Amen. So he jumped out. So they're making haste. People are making haste. They got their dough. Before it was leavened, they got to eat unleavened bread. They took the lamb. They had the Passover. We're going to go over the pa Passover. It's going to tell you in verse chapter 12. But the Passover was the lamb. Only the Jews and those that were circumcised could eat of the lamb. Made with bitter herbs. Yummy. Bitter herbs. Why? Because it was a meal to represent, we are out of here, baby. Amen. 430 years, we've been slaves, we are gone. And all the people of Israel were supposed to remember this day, even until now. They still celebrate the Passover, not the way in the Bible, but they celebrate, they still celebrate it. Even Jews still do that today. So, and uh, so the children started journeying. They spoiled the Egyptians, verse 36. I love it. 35, they went, borrowed Egyptian jewels, silver, jewels of gold, raiment, clothes. Hey, I love that pink chiffon uh, coat, and I love that pink chiffon dress, and the pink the shoes. Uh, I want that. And I want all the other stuff that you guys have. Matter of fact, I know where you keep your gold and your silver, and I want it all. I want to borrow. And the Egyptians are so scared because the firstborn's dead, all right, and somebody's died in their family, that they're going, take it all. Just leave, all right? You can have anything in my house. Just, you can take the TV. You can take my car. You can take my clothes. Just, I mean, you want my wife? Take her too, all right? You want the kids? Just get out of here, all right? I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm tired of seeing you people. Egypt's completely ruined. Hail's come, destroyed the land. The animals have been destroyed with the boils. Those that weren't destroyed, if they didn't take the advice of Moses and hide them in the house, they were going to get destroyed by hail. Everything, locusts have come. come e Egypt is completely destroyed as a country. And now Israel is leaving. And Verse 20 and 38, chapter 12. You've got to read that part. Here's problems. 
Now, why do I always preach and why do the old timers always preach? Marry the same race? Because if you don't, you're going to have problems. Notice who leaves. And the mixed multitude went also with them. With who? Israel. Guess who's going to start problems later on in life? We'll read about it months later. The mixed multitude, those are Egyptians. Those are other people. They are leaving with the Israelites, the Hebrew children. Why? Because somebody put blood on the outside of their house to save them, and now the Egyptians say, uh-uh, baby, all right, you've been hanging around them, them Jews too long, you got to go. Now, these mixed multitude have no idea what the culture is for being a Jew. Does that make sense? None. So they're going to, number one, make problems for Moses. They're going to start gossiping to the Israelites. They're going to start making their own suggestions on how we ought to live. We need to get, you know, the first thing that ha usually happens, uh, and it's usually the man. When a young couple gets married, the young man doesn't want his bride to be around her family anymore. So he wants to move as far away so his family cannot see his bride. Because he only wants to be there with her. I'm just telling you the truth, amen? I mean, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, amen? That's just a lot, all right? All right. You know, and the ones that are going to give you problems are, are usually your friends, your family. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he, treated, he didn't treat you right. You mean he worked... You mean he went to work and didn't kiss you on the cheek and tell you he loved you? No, he's been working for 16 hours. He's, he's oil, got oil all over him. Amen. He's tired. And all he wants to do is eat and get and go to bed, take a shower and go to bed. Amen. So he can feed you and clothe you and give you a place to stay. Amen. But you want it like you was sweet 16 all over again. All that lovely, dovey stuff. Ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Mix the multitudes. What do they do? They cause problems. Hey Amen. You can't have a Pentecostal in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll invite them. I, I, everybody's welcome to come. Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, but they're all gonna want to try to teach their doctrine, mm -hmm. which is wrong. And I will correct it. Uh, charismatics, health, wealth, mm -hmm. prosperity. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what a charismatic is? That's Joel Osteen. All right, that's all uh, Benny Hinn. You know uh, all these all these guys. Health, wealth, prosperity. It's not in the Bible. Paul had cataracts. He he wrote most of the Bible. He prayed three times. God heal me, and God said, "My grace is sufficient. No healing for you." His student that started a church was Timothy. He had stomach problems. He had ulcers. So you know what the old man said, Paul? Don't drink any more water. Drink a little wine for thy stomach's sake. Stop drinking water. He couldn't cure him either. Why? Because healing had ended during that time. Healing then started again in the New Testament. It says, go to the elders, have them pray, confess your faults, then anoint them with oil, and that's how healing is done. It's not the charismatics where they slap you on the head and, and, and you fall over backwards. Amen. I don't know where they got that junk from. It ain't in the Bible. Amen. It's not in the Bible. You know, the Bible talks about women. Shouldn't preach. It says women keep silent in the church. So what do women do? They go preach. You know what they do? We, I call it taking out your black marker 
and highlight your Bible with your black marker and everything you don't like in the Bible, just go ahead and block it off. Amen? Amen. And that way you can live by the Bible except for those parts that you don't like. Amen. These people are going to cause problems. Amen. This mixed multitude, they're going to cause problems. They don't understand us. They don't understand Christian living. Why do you have to go every Sunday? Why can't you go with us? We're only going to go, you know, tubing this weekend. We're only going to go fishing this weekend. Why can't you go with us? Because we're Christian. Amen. 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 We ain't got to make no excuse. Does the mixed multitude understand this? No. Why? They're not Christian. They will always cause problems. Amen. They're going to cause problems for anybody that wants to live for God. Israel wants to live for God. But now they got all these people going with them. And because they left, guess what? They didn't even have time to make unleavened bread. They had to go so fast. 430 years passed. That's verse 41. God brings them out. They institute the Passover. And then God gives special rules and regulations about the Passover. He said if they ain't circumcised, they can't have it. If they're a slave, uh, they can't have it. You said some of the uh, Israelites owned slaves? I, I don't know if it was them or the mixed people. Does that make sense? I don't know who, did, who owned them. It doesn't say. It doesn't clarify in the Bible.